one two 2014 happy new year's to everybody the calendar year has started and not only that is that 2013 was a great run and that the bull had got these markets so overbought that it was pathetic and I use that word because that's what it was that's how pathetically overbought this S&P 500 not only that is that one of the things that we're going to say is is that the S&P 500 came down to 1831 down 16.38 handles on the first trading day of January with the new year the simple 10 day simple moving average will play its role I will draw the trend line down here where that rising this white line which is a rising 50 day is where it caught a bid all of last year just about but most importantly is that we had rallied from 1767 to here that's going to be the lower end of the support uh, above this uh, bar here which was part of last year and here we are already talking about last year where this trend line right here going straight across was a resistance area on lower light volume and then through the great holiday of Christmas St. Nick is they had rallied it up on narrow range volume that we were extremely overbought uh, the last trading day on 1221 we were extremely overbought now that the new year has started we are going to also look at the following one of the things that we would like to add to the S&P 500 for our MMTs uh, in the US and outside of the country worldwide is the fact that as we went through the holiday we were gradually and incrementally going up in the fear indicator called the VIX which is the CBOE volatility that once again is related to the S&P 500 so we started today out on a down day you would have to go back to uh, 2008 January to get the kind of reversals that we've had on the opening bell and it's because of one thing when again once again 2013 was a year that you hadn't seen since 1997 not only that let us not forget the anniversary of the first week of March of 2014 isn't that far away that's when we made the March of 2009 lows so we are going to be doing a very detailed thing and the fear has been creeping up when the fear goes higher the S&P goes lower in value 1831 now having said where the fear indicator is is that the other side of this is for you to know that the 10 day simple moving average but the real support level is going to be on this uh, S&P we're just going to pull this over here a little bit and 1809 is the 20 simple day moving average if we come down here to the 50 day simple moving average of course that's going to be 1790.65 let us not forget that today is Thursday and tomorrow's Friday however it doesn't matter that we were not here on uh, Wednesday on New Year's Day it still counts as a five days so basically um, the uh, the amount of selling that we had in one day and remember we're working with a bull run and a bull market that occurred in 2013 so basically when you start a January uh, out negative on the very first trading day of the calendar year that is just going to support that much more why these markets were extremely over bought and when we get overbought then there is going to be volatility 
Not only that, calendar 2014 will have a lot more volatility as far as prices go in the following manner. You will have both sides of the tape. You'll have the bull will have its share and the bear will also have its share. And that this 12 month period looking out to one year from now, believe it or not, that would be January of 2015, is that this year is going to have pockets of volatility in price along with the seasonality. So, therefore, we are going into a major earning season. It will start on Monday. The first week is a very light week. Then the week after that, they really start coming out with reports. And we're going to be looking at what the earnings are in the S&P 500. Now, remember one thing. That the earnings on a cash basis or forward looking in the retail world, that's their world, is that what is the S&P worth? Meaning that you got 500 companies and you put them all together. One of the things is the monthly chart on the S&P 500. We have had one big run. So out of the 12 month period, a year ago in January, we started up with a gap and we did not look back for five months. And this was the first resistance level on the S&P 1687. We pulled back, we rallied up. Every pullback, we had a new purchase buyback program that came in the S&P. What I will say on the monthly level though, is what is this very first red bar starting out the month of January going to end up like? Well, we can tell you at 1700, there's going to be a great support right there, right above 1700. There. And if we break it, then we're going to come down. And let us not forget about one major thing that you need to know, MMTs. We have not had a 10% correction. If you want to know when that was going on, this is how uh, 2011 was right here. And we did have a 10% correction. We had five months down here. This is back in 2011. Now, in 2012, when we pull that year up, and we're willing to do that. For who? For you. And we started with the gap up, yes. And we had a 90-day run to the top. And then we pulled back to the rising 20-month and 10-month. And we peaked right here in 2012. And then on a monthly level, it dropped. And we had a good pullback. Now, listen, markets have two ways. It's not a one-way street. This last year was very different. And from the year 2000 top to the bear runs, and we spent a lot of years, and this is what happened at 2007 top. Let me tell you, margin debts had its all-time high, people. Not only that, the buyers, and who are they? Institutional. The big money does not buy at highs. They buy on dips. Now, listen, this bull has got a lot behind it, and... That's just the monthly level and a little bit of history. And, of course, it's going to have support down here at the lower end of this monthly bar right there and the high of that bar, and that's at 1807 in the short term. And down here at about 1770 where it was on the lows of December is we are going to come down there and we are going to test it. And another thing is that on this simple daily moving average, is uh, this is where the January effect, the old myth is, so goes the first day of January, so goes the year. So, we're overbought. Get on the sideline. Another thing I will tell you right now is, is that the 1,850 puts are paying big money. And so there was 514 contracts traded. When we take a look at the 1825, 118, 214, 
we had 8,387 contracts purchased. So as the S&P falls, these go up in value, and we're very good about knowing how to trade them. Not only that, when we take a look at where that money was, is there was selling on light volume. So tomorrow's Friday, it'll be the first calendar Friday options expiration weekly. That it will be. Now, the Northeast is going to be riddled with snowstorms. They may get up to 10 inches. So a lot of people are still on vacation. They have yet to return from their holiday celebrating the new year. And rightfully so. So that is what the S&P 500 is saying on your first calendar day down and the intraday low was 1827. Your open was 1845.86 and the high was 1845.86 but your intraday low was 1827.74 with a close of 1831. Just be advised that this is a January period that is starting off negative and let it be known that in other years that I showed on the monthly um, we can go back over here to 2011 see how we started January up okay well let's go over here to 2012 see how we started up and we continue to go higher but what is wrong with this one nothing it's overbought and overbought markets need to create volatility. They need to shake the bull buyer out and new people step in and buy equities. Volatility is your friend in 2014. Let us not forget it. And not only that, you are going to have range bound. That means high to low ranges in the S&P on a compound five-day weekly basis until... We go through another 240 days, which is trading days ahead of us. The best thing you need to do now is the following. Here we have on stockmarketfunding.com. I'm only going to say it once. Click on the free trial tab. Open in the account page. If you've been a bull that's been on the sideline for a number of years, hit open the account. After you do that, Open the account tab, watch the video, get started today. If you need trading capital and you want to get back into the markets, we're the first one to help who? You. All right, so basically we are going to conclude the first down day. Price volatility is, is that the bull is still very much alive. 